In many of my videos, I've used the Steam Hardware Survey to give you an idea of what kind of PC components make up the gaming market. And with those videos, I have gotten a small yet uncomfortable amount of comments saying that the Steam Hardware Survey is not a good way to judge the market. I'm just gonna say this straight up. This is a survey that Steam conducts to collect data about what kinds of computer hardware and software our customers are using. Participation in the survey is completely optional and anonymous. The information gathered is incredibly useful for us about what kinds of technological investments to make and products to offer. Why would Steam keep using the survey if their investments are riding on it and it's inaccurate? This is obviously useful, and this is useful for more than just Steam, Valve as a company. It's also useful for a bunch of game developers, investors in general, the companies that make the products like AMD, Nvidia, and Intel, for the most part. There is still people out here that don't believe that it is random. This guy says, I don't feel they were accurate. I had, an a I had AMD video cards for 10 plus years and never got prompted to do a survey. Since buying Nvidia, it asked me every two months to do a survey. I have a suspicion there is something there, paid for by Nvidia maybe, to inflate numbers for their video cards. But the Steam hardware survey is completely random. And there are 120 million active users on Steam, so your chances of getting picked are actually extremely low. I've had NVIDIA cards since becoming a Steam user, and when the beta launched in 2003, I've only been picked four times in that 18-year period. I, Vex, can account for this. I've had Steam probably since 2015. I can only remember ever being polled once, but I am willing to say that I've probably taken it twice. I kind of recently took a survey when I upgraded my system to an RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 5900X. I don't know if those are correlated, like it polled me when when I upgraded my components, but that, that is the last time I've ever seen that and actually the only time I ever remember taking a hardware survey. These kind of comments claiming that it surveys AMD video cards less often than Nvidia to me starts to kind of feel like a loud minority of people that are kind of outcry that their components aren't getting as much representation as they feel like they should be. Maybe they feel that this 15% of the market share for AMD doesn't seem like enough. I can see justifications for those feelings, especially when AMD does make a very competitive product nowadays. Usually they're cheaper than Nvidia's graphics cards. Their software experience and drivers have really improved over the years and they're not what their reputation has usually made them out to be. But the reason I say this is a loud minority is because it doesn't just go for AMD graphics cards owners. Here's a Reddit thread out here where someone is claiming that the hardware survey has a bias against Linux. This is part of the reason why I think it might be a loud minority because this person here was also mad. It says, selection for who gets Steam hardware surveys absolute bull. I have been using Linux for more than two years with Steam open nearly every day. I didn't get the survey once. Now I set up Windows and a VM, GPU passing through and all that nice stuff. After a few weeks of opening Steam there, it asked me for a hardware survey on Windows. What the, Steam? There's some people that followed this up that commented why this might be the case. And this might show why Linux could be underrepresented in the PC gaming market. But I think it's still unlikely. This is because Linux doesn't have the best support completely across Steam. So sometimes you have to use Wine, which is a Windows emulator, to run Steam and run games through that instead. And every time you run Wine, you have to reset or reinstall Steam. So being that you're on like a quote unquote Windows system, you might tend to get the survey more because you're restarting Steam more than probably the typical person would. I know for me, my system starts with Windows and I don't, I probably wouldn't even see the hardware survey. I don't think a lot of the loud minority is taking into account. Not many people on Windows and not many people on Nvidia get the Steam hardware survey all the time. Another person points out here that people in this thread don't seem to understand the principle of randomness. A random selection means that it is not possible to predict who will get the Steam survey notification. Some users will get it very often and some will rarely or if even ever get the survey. This behavior is wanted. If every account got the same notification on a regular basis, it wouldn't be a random survey anymore. This loud minority feels like they're almost attacked 
when they don't get the Steam hardware survey to represent whatever system that they are using in the market. Honestly, and I completely agree, you want support for whatever system you're on, even though you're, you're not the majority of people. But randomness is there for a reason, because if every single time you open Steam, or every month you open to Steam, every single person out there got a survey, it would start to get kind of annoying. So what Steam does is they take a random selection of a certain number of people, which the sample size is unclear. I wish that they would be a little bit more clear with their numbers here. That's why they give percentages on the charts because the actual number of people isn't shown to the public. For whatever reason, Steam doesn't want you to know how many people they're polling. And I think that's fair. Steam has millions and millions of users. I'm sure that they're polling enough people to make this a semi-accurate study. I don't think this is a perfect science by any means, it's just showing a general trend in the market. But it isn't just the randomness of the Steam hardware survey that throws people off, especially in the GPU market, because a lot of people claim the Steam hardware survey is not accurate because net cafes. If you know what a net cafe is, it's basically like a lounge where there's a bunch of computers where you can kind of game as a community and anyone can log into their Steam accounts on these computers. Now, because these are basically public systems, they, they have the same hardware and they're typically cheaper hardware. If you check on the survey itself, the 1650, 1060, 3060, 2060, all these graphics cards are cheap and they come from Nvidia. Now these are in a lot of these net cafes because the games that they play at net cafes aren't that graphically intensive and this keeps the costs down. Is that the net cafes, because people sign to them more consistently, there's a higher chance for Steam to keep polling these lower end systems of these net cafes which have Nvidia GPUs in them. But these same people don't consider, why doesn't AMD tap into that market? Why aren't they the ones in these net cafes? This is a huge, GPU market and AMD is yet to capitalize on it. Nvidia has completely dominated it that it doesn't this point doesn't prove anything. This still shows a representation that AMD doesn't have as much of the market share. Yes, Nvidia's numbers may be slightly inflated. They could be making more money on the lower end GPU market, especially if you contracted or worked closely with net cafes which need a lot of GPUs. There isn't much about the Steam hardware survey being inaccurate on the internet. I think for the most part, even on my videos, a pretty small percentage of people actually talked about this. I did find one forum post, which funnily enough just started with somebody saying, Steam hardware survey said that my OS was installed in 1969, <laughs> which this was just basically a meme. <laughs> But in this forum post, someone did comment and say that Steam has a version for the Chinese market now. Will they show separate survey results for that respective country? Now, the, the problem with the Steam hardware survey is it's so vague. We actually don't know, is it, like, is this just for your local region? Like, for me, would this just be in the US? Is this just in North America? Is this worldwide? We don't know. But just that fact that net cafes are big in China and the East Asia market in general, um, it is possible that the Chinese market might have a completely separate survey and the net cafes might not play as big of a part as a lot of people might like to say. Now, what could Steam do to clarify these results? Honestly, if Steam just displayed how many people that they poll every month, that'd be good. We need to know what kind of sample size they have. Even if they sampled 100,000 people every month, that's still a lot of people, okay? Um, especially considering that Steam has a hun like over 120 million monthly users. 100,000 people actually does still give a very large representation of the market. And then they could also display at the top of their page how many monthly users they had. And then you can kind of extrapolate that data and figure out some things for yourself. Because it's also weird that there is kind of ways to force your computer to take the Steam hardware survey. Like this article on PC World, put in a Windows run command and put in one of these and you can have your system take it. I'll just like demonstrate for you here. Down here, say okay. And uh, it gave me the Dota 2 hardware survey. You can take it. If you really think that your system needs to be represented in the public, um, you might be able to force your system to take it. I don't know if that plays into anything or if they consider those results. No clue. I'm gonna end this off with a hot take. Because the Steam hardware survey is opt-in, you don't have to take, even if you're prompted to take it, the only reason you might not want to is because of privacy concerns. You choose to take the survey even when you're prompted with it. And just knowing how people are, I know not everyone takes that survey. There's definitely a portion of people that say, nah, I'm good, and press cancel and move on with their day. 
You know who would really want to take the survey? That is people that have a minority component, a PC component that is different from the rest of the market and you want it to be represented with the Steam hardware survey. There's almost like a certain amount of pride to it. So as much as the minority market might want to complain about say like how AMD doesn't have as much market share in PC gaming, graphics cards, or how Linux isn't as big of an OS as say Windows, these people might be more likely to take the survey because they want their components to be represented. Think like an average Windows user might not care, but somebody who's more tech savvy on Linux really wants to take that survey to show Steam that they exist. After all this being said, do you think the Steam hardware survey can be trusted? Because at least in the GPU market itself, the only other big study that's kind of been done with discrete graphics cards is by JPR. And a lot of people even said that this study isn't real. Um, that Nvidia doesn't have 82% of the market share. You kind of take it as you will. What else can we trust? Steam hardware survey is probably the best representation for gamers and it's really cool that it even exists for us to just view. Cause in the end of the things, the Steam hardware survey, it's cool for us to browse, but it's not really for us. It's for Valve and it's for developers to account for all the components that are on the market. Uh, that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Our first game on. Good shit, guys. Good job, everybody.